Barry, lads and lasses, welcome along eh? Tuesdays here, we're back for some more Tuttons Tuesdays. It's, it's going to be a short one this week, there's a few things I want to do, but I think there's other things I don't really need to do. So, first things first, eh? let's get the elephant out of the room. Eh? You notice this, ready for big school? It's nearly that time isn't it, we got all the pictures of these people, little bear eh? First day of primary school, first day of big school, little, oh, little so and so, oh, bless them. Power BI is five, how did that happen? There's an announcement going on, check the link out in the description. There's going to be a nice community event on the 23rd of July. Recommend you can to, for it. Power BI, five years in the making this has been. I mean, I was looking back, just gone through everything I've done in the past. And the earliest file I could find was from March 2016. And Oh man, I look at it and it's like, oh no, what a nightmare. And I'll promise you something. Any one of you now listening to this who's like just starting out with Power BI, right? I promise you, you will look back on your files that you do now and you'll be like going, oh, what was I thinking? Oh, what an idiot, right? That's normal. Different worry, right? I remember when I cut over, we started looking at Power Pivot because we were struggling with Excel. In the first place, just Excel was running out with the way we were doing it. Like so many other businesses, copying and pasting of like SQL query results into Excel, and then lots of pivot charts running off it. You know, maybe somebody got, oh, I remember doing that. Maybe I'm still doing that. Oh, what a nightmare, right? And it got the site the point where like anyone who worked in IT or anyone who worked with reports and stuff like that had to have a 64-bit version of Excel. And then it became, oh, I want to make it more accessible. Let's get more people involved in it. And it, but you couldn't expand beyond that. And then Power Pivot came along. We tried to Power Pivot using Power Query and Power Pivot to get like these tabular data models starting off. But at the time, I really didn't know what I was doing with tabular models compared to what I know now. But even that, you then hit the 32-bit limits within Excel and it just becomes, oh, and then Power BI came along. And that was back in, I think it was 2015. My memory says, man, like October, November 2015 is when I think I started with Power BI. March 2016, I've got files from there, but I'm sure they didn't start there. But anyway, main thing is, went from one user, little old me, to where we are today with 1,500 users. So, five year journey, Power BI, it's been central to what we do. And now, you know, with Geordie Intelligence and all that, I think it's time to really educate the world or help you all pick what you want and help you get the most out of your data and your business. Harried, right. so we've been thinking long and hard. YouTube channel went live back in April. And honestly, looking at the YouTube, looking at the way it's gone, I think it's getting there. I'm starting to get to the point where I'm pretty happy with it. Still some things I want to do. Still some more work to do on it and we're not going to stop. We're going to keep working on it. But it's time, I think, for us to start looking at the next step. And the first thing that's going to happen is Geordie Intelligence is going to be joined by a couple of other things. The first thing is going to be the company. So obviously Geordie Intelligence isn't going to be a company in itself. It's really it's part of a company. It's going to be a department. So one main company is kind of, it's like lesson in life if you ask me, man. If you've got a choice of a few things to do or a few people, the advice I'd always say is pick the Geordian. Yeah? Get the Geordie involved, because tell you what, you never gone wrong hiring a Geordie. Full of fun, always up for a laugh, and honestly, get the work done every time. Crack on, have a great laugh as well. That's the way, yeah? So, always remember that. Hire the Geordie, yeah? Get the Geordian. So, that's going to be with parent company name, Geordian. Remember that. You know, which consultant should we use? Get the Geordian. How should we use to get the training done? Get the Geordian, aye? Geordian. That's who we're going to be doing with training, doing with consultancy. With that in mind, we've got the training side set up with Geordie Intelligence. We're going to be joined, we're going to be bringing through Geordie Consulting. So the two sides of the business. So we've got Geordie Intelligence, which is going to deal with YouTube and that. And then we've got Geordie Consultant, which is going to be what consultancy side and professional services. So you can kind of see the vision that we're going for. You can come to us if you want training support and these kinds of thing. Things are if you want to do 
get some proper consultancy into a business do that i want us to be able to support as many people as possible because i've learned over the five years that i've been doing power bi 10 15 plus years of doing all this stuff i tell you you know what we have right now is a platform that really allows anybody to get access and understand their data and that's something that even 10 years ago or even five years ago we couldn't really envision envision and i mean i remember looking at power bi when it first came out i was like eh, you know was, you could see there was something there and it was good but it wasn't accessible there were still things that were there and then like the xmla endpoint report came through or the other things and it's just been picking up and picking up and getting better and better so hopefully with our intelligence side dealing with training and development of people and our consultant dealing with support and growth of your business you will find that you really want a company like Jordian on board for now stay safe everyone yeah and let's catch up on Friday for the last episode of Dataset 5